How are you feeling, Ryan? I feel great, mainly because I just ate a whole plate of beans. And I feel great because we're moving. It's exciting to finally be doing this after talking about it for so long. And I feel great because you are with me. And I feel great because we're here. This is it. There's no place in the world I'd rather be than right here, right now with you. We are in Astoria, Oregon. And this is where my favorite movie in the entire world was filmed. The Goonies. Do you like the Goonies? Love the Goonies. Goonies. It probably set me off on a life and adventure. Goonies! This is so cool. Let's go ahead and lead him wherever. Yeah, all right, good. Yeah. This is my new buddy, John. Hey. He came out of nowhere. He's like, oh, you can stay at our place. We have a bike place. What was your name? Chris. Chris. Okay, this yeah. is amazing. Hi. This is so. Yeah, you can tickle that right there. What is like, that Ooh. thing? It's a microphone. Oh, okay. To make sure the audio is good. Well, I think part of it is just trying to figure <laughs> yeah. each other out every single day. Yeah. You never get it figured out. You're like, okay, so yeah. this is, seems to be a common trait with John. How am I going to deal with this for the rest of my life? So you actually, <laughs> actually, you're on the right? you're on the planet, you know, and and you're, you're a bunch of molecules, and yeah. so See, you might be attracted to each other, about. Uh, but then again, you might not. So <laughs> that's it. You see, this this trek may be the decisive thing. I went on a bike trip with one of my boyfriends, but don't, not but don't him. Don't stress out. About it. And right. yeah, we got, it was pretty intense, I mean, so we, yeah, we didn't so last. You didn't end up marrying him. No, we didn't. <laughs> he's an awesome guy, but no, huh, it didn't work. How long have you two been together? 27 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. and what's we made, have one what's daughter. Made, what's the key? What's the made it that work? 27 years, that's not... I think, I think it's just we share, um, we, we share this common bond of creativity. So we're constantly bouncing ideas and stuff back and forth. You know, we use each other's brains quite effectively. I really think you know? that this is great that you're doing this because you're really going to be able to see the United States. Uh, and you're you know, so up close and you personal. Have each other. No, no noises from you know, and you're not enclosed in a little capsule in a vehicle. The <laughs> reason we started the bike in is because Columbia County has this reputation of not being very friendly to bicyclists. So, because we have a lot of log trucks, a lot of red, rednecks and stuff. And then I used to bike a lot, and then I thought, oh, we need to accommodate. We need to make these people feel welcome. So, after they've got smoked out and, you know, ran off the road and stuff, they need to be able to come here and let, let you know, let them know that there's some normal people in Columbia County. Really, there are. So, that's why we started it. This is the kind of stuff I was hoping to find, you know, just small town weirdness. We found it on our first night. And John speaks fluent Swedish, so we had a whole conversation in Swedish. This is just, keeps on getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> All right, lead the way to the bamboo forest. Look at that windmill. It's like we're in Sweden. These goats are watching us. Hey guys. <laughs> so you can tell they hang around humans sometimes because they're not really scared, but they're like, who are these people? <laughs> Is there a lot of bamboo in Oregon? Is this something that happens in Oregon? I don't think so. Let's go into the forest. Wow, look at this. If you had told me when, when we woke up today that we'd be walking around a bamboo forest with the guy that speaks Swedish, hanging out with goats, I would say, that doesn't sound right, but hey, here we are. <laughs> this is what happens when you just kind of open yourself up to the world. Look at this squeezy. <laughs> now we have a great view of the Shell Station. Allie, you have a lot of reading to do. There is an amazing selection of books here. How to Live Be 100. <laughs> what is that? What is that? 
<laughs> I'd have lived to be 100. Look at that guy. He's psyched. <laughs> Sex can be fun. After 80, after 90, after 100, and after lunch. <laughs> so, Allie, this is a big moment. This is your first day of bike touring across America. How do you feel? Um, I feel wonderful. Oh, we've met already so many cool people. Can you believe it? Mm. I can believe it. This is uh, going to be a good ride. Good morning, beautiful Allie. Good morning, Ryan. So I forgot to teach you something. For my very first bike tour, I've been chanting this. And I go, no crashies, no whammies, no windies, no flatties. And it's just like a chant that I do at the beginning of every morning. And so now you need to do it too. So that these bad things don't happen to us, like crashing and whamming and flatting and out and all that stuff. It's weird, I know, it's weird. No, no flatties, flatties, no, no crashies, whammies, no, no crashies. <laughs> we'll get on we'll get on the same page here soon enough. The point is we're warding off evil spirits. Okay. I can do that. And bring in the good spirits to protect us on our bicycles. This right here is a very beautiful road. No cars, totally lush and green. The trees create like a tunnel of foliage. Nice to get off the highway for a little bit. What you got there? I got some flowers in my hair. I think that it's really good that if you ever have an opportunity to put flowers in your hair, you should do it. Take advantage. Look at that. It's hard to be anything other than blissful when you have flowers in your hair. This looks really cool. Yeah? It's looking good? Oh, yeah. Should we pull over right here? Hey buddy, how's it going? I think he wants food. Do you have any horse food? <sighs> Unfortunately, I forgot my carrots. I'll give you scratches. I'll give you scratches. That's nice, right? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh. He wants in. Give him a cliff bar. <laughs> you don't get any cliff bars. Why don't we just dish the bikes and ride the horses the rest of the way? All right, see if they're into it. You want to go for a little ride? I don't know if Trek will be cool with that, though. I hate to say it, Allie, but our beautiful byway is over. <laughs> We're back on the highway. <laughs> the problem with riding on highways is your left ear goes numb because it's just cars whizzing by you the whole day. Like that. It is raining. And I guess that makes sense because we are in the Pacific Northwest. Um, we're gonna wish for these cold days probably about a week or two down the line when it's like 95 and hot. We have made it to Portland and we're back at Hillary and Jason's. How's it going? Hello. Sorry we're spending one more night with you, but we thought, uh -huh. we thought it'd be a good place to hang out. We're always happy to have you. <laughs> Allie, how you feeling? Your longest day ever. Oh, I feel great. Yeah, it was, uh, it was hard. In, on my neck, mostly. Well, your neck looks cool, at least. Oh, yeah. Well, I try to keep it stylish. Yeah. Oh, my God, it's Jason and Hillary. We're in your backyard. <laughs> Hi. My old University of Colorado Fahrenheit buddies. Howdy, Woo. Dozer Nation. Go Buffs. <laughs> we are seeking love advice along the way. Relationship advice. How do we make it work? And you've been together 20 years. Yeah, so. tell us tell us how long you guys have been Yeah, there. Dudes, you were there when the magic, uh, the magic <laughs> happened in the dorms 20 years ago. <laughs> That's true. It was 20 years ago, 98, 99. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make sure I think for us, what's worked is to make sure to encourage your partner to go on their own adventures. Um, and also to have some together, but to like, I think the autonomy that we have is certainly something that has worked for both of us and made it fun to come back together and share those stories. 
Yeah, I, I think that's right. I think having uh, a life together and your own separate life is a huge thing as well. Knowing your own people, um, being having each other and being, uh, but not being completely dependent on each other. And certainly the adventure side is huge. I think you've done a really amazing job of knowing when I need to just like get out and be by myself for a little while. But we've done some amazing trips together, like surfing in, in Baja and... Um, Diving all over the world. Yeah, a lot of scuba diving. And yeah, all absolutely. that good stuff. So I think like having the, having those things that you love to do together and you can share and enjoy, I think is essential, but also to yeah be able to play on your own and pursue your own things and, and figure out whatever that balance is for you because it's going to be different for everyone. That's right. Don't forget who you are, but know who you are as a couple. And, and the dichotomy, I think, is very important. Everyone deals with stress and anger in, in different ways, and knowing how the other partner deals with it, I think, is very important. <laughs> um, and like I said, Hill's a little independent. She'll need some space. And then I've learned she wants to talk about it, and she doesn't need me to give her any like advice, which I want to do. She just wants to... <laughs> kind of unload, a or not unload is the wrong word, but um, download, download. <laughs> that's a much better word. And so I've realized that, kind of give her a space and then she'll come and just download and I don't have to solve her problems. I just need to listen to the problems. Um, and I think that's important and it took me a little while to figure that out. <laughs> and I'm still figuring it out, of course. And you guys are gonna have a blast, have so much fun, take the good with the bad and I'm, I know it's mostly gonna be good.